In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to draw multiple points of any objects using Google Earth Pro and then export it to ArcGIS and use ArcGIS in order to convert those coordinates into an Excel spreadsheet. Let's imagine that for example you want to get the X, Y and Z coordinates of this aeroport for example. So the first thing that we are going to do is to draw multiple points across this runway. So in order to do this we are going to use this add path tool, click on it and here you can name it for example path1. And then for the color you can choose the, choose the color, the view. So after that I will go ahead and start drawing points across the runway. After the end of this process click on OK. So now we will go ahead and export this path. In order to do this, right click on it and click on save place as. So navigate to where you want to save your KMZ file and then click on save. Now we'll use this website called GPS visualizer slash elevation in order to convert our KMZ file into JPX file. So you can either look for this website in your look in your browser or you can simply click on the link in the, the description below so here we'll go ahead and click on choose file we'll select our kmz file and then we we'll click open for the output file we will choose gpx file and for the unit of our elevation we will set it to metric and then we'll click on convert and add elevation after that we will get our file as a download click on this link and your gpx file will be downloaded now we'll go ahead and open ArcGIS and we will use a tool to convert our GPX into feature. So click on this search button GPX. And then click on this GPX to feature conversion. And for the input GPX file, navigate to where you saved your GPX file, click on it, then click on open. Here you can out save where you want to output your your feature class click on this button click on save and then okay at the end of the conversion you will get this as a shape file i will go ahead and add a base map in order to do this click on this small button next to add data and click on add base map we'll go ahead and use this one we will click on add so as you can see those points correspond to our aeroport so now we will go ahead and calculate the coordinates of those points. So first of all, right click on your shape file, click on open attribute table. So as you can see, we got the elevation, but we don't have the X and Y coordinates. So we will go ahead and add two new columns corresponding to X and Y coordinates. So click on this button then click on add field so here we will put x and we will set it to short short integer for the precision we will go for example with 10 and then we'll click on ok we'll go ahead and add another column we'll click on add field i will name we will name it now y and we will set it to short integer for the precision we will go with 10 and we will click on ok so as you can see we got our x and y column now we will go ahead and calculate the coordinates of our points in order to do this we will go ahead to our shape file right click on it and click on edit features and then click on start editing you will get this editing menu so here we will go to x we will click on it right click and click on calculate geometry we we'll set it to x coordinates and we will click on ok so here are the x coordinates now we will do the same thing for the y coordinates click on calculate geometry and here choose y coordinates of point and click on ok 
So here we go, we got our X and Y coordinates. We go to editor and we'll click on save edits and then stop editing. Now we'll go ahead and export this attribute table as an Excel file. So I will close the attribute table and we will go ahead to click on the search button and here I will type Excel. Click on enter and we will use this table to Excel conversion. Click on it. And for the input table, we will put our path. And here you can specify where you want to output your Excel file. Name it and then click on save. Then click on OK. So here we go. As you can see, we got our Excel file. I will open it. And as you can see, we got our X and Y coordinates as well as elevation. For these other columns, I will just delete them. So thanks a lot for watching if you got some value from this tutorial please like it and subscribe if you want to get more tutorials